Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be dividing fractions. One of the key takeaways for dividing fractions is you need to understand the word reciprocal. So any number multiplied by its reciprocal equals one. It's just taking the inverse or the opposite of that number. So for an example, let's say we have eight over one. The reciprocal of eight over one is going to equal one over eight. Because if I multiply eight over one times one over eight, eight times one is going to give us eight in our numerator, and then one times eight in my denominator is gonna give us eight. Eight divided by eight is one. So any number multiplied by its reciprocal is going to equal one. What about two over three? The reciprocal for two over three is going to equal three over two. Because if I multiply two over three times three over two, this is going to give us six, and then three times two is also going to give us six. Six divided by six is going to equal one. So let's look at our first example when it comes to dividing. If we have one over two divided by three over eight. First, I'm going to keep my one over two. My division sign is going to turn into multiplication, so this is going to be one over two times. And now we're going to take the reciprocal of three over eight. The reciprocal of three over eight is going to be eight over three. So we have one over two times eight over three, and now we're going to multiply across. So your numerator, you have one times eight, and then your denominator, you have two times three. So one times eight is going to equal eight, and then two times three, this is going to equal six. I can simplify my eight over six because the number two goes both into eight and the six. Eight divided by two is four, and then six divided by two is three. However, this is an example of an improper fraction because my number on top, my numerator, is larger than the number at the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this into a mixed number. So you have your three on the outside, your four on the inside. Three goes into four one time. Three times one is three. Four minus three is going to equal one. So your final answer is four over three or one and one thirds. So let's try four over five divided by one over seven. So four over five, this is going to stay the same. My division is going to turn into multiplication. And then one over seven, we're going to take the reciprocal of one over seven, that's going to be seven over one. So we're gonna write seven over one here. And now we're going to multiply across. So four times seven in my numerator, and then five times one in my denominator. Four times seven is 28. Five times one is five. And since we have an improper fraction, we're going to go ahead and turn this back into a mixed number. Five on the outside, 28 on the inside. Five goes into 28 five times. Five times five is 25. 28 minus 25 is going to equal three. So your final answer is going to be 28 over five or five and three fifths. 12 over 15 divided by three over five. So 12 over 15, this is going to stay the same. Division is now going to change into multiplication and then three over five, the reciprocal for three over five is going to be five over three. So I'm gonna write five over three here and now we're going to multiply across. 12 times five in my numerator 15 times three in my denominator. 12 times five is 60. 15 times three is going to be 45. I can simplify my 60 over 45 because the number 15 goes into both the 60 and the 45. 60 divided by 15 is going to equal four, and then 45 divided by 15, this is going to equal three. Since I have an improper fraction, let's turn this back into a mixed number. Three goes into four one time. Three times one is three. 
four minus three is going to equal one. Your final answer is going to be four over three or one and one third. Let's try five over seven divided by one over two. Five over seven, that stays the same. We're going to change division into multiplication and then we're going to change one over two. The reciprocal for one over two is going to be two over one. So this is going to turn into two over one. Numerator, five times two. And then my denominator is seven times one. Five times two is 10. Seven times one is seven. Since I have an improper fraction, let's turn this back into a mixed number. Seven goes into 10 one time. Seven times one is seven. 10 minus seven is going to equal three. So your final answer is going to be 10 over seven or one and three sevenths. So let's look at this example here. We have a mixed number divided by a proper fraction. First thing before we do anything, let's turn this mixed number into an improper fraction and then we're going to set up our problem. So one and five, six, one times six, this is going to give us six plus five, this is going to turn into 11. So your improper fraction is 11 over six. So I'm gonna write 11 over six here. This is going to be divided by three over four. So 11 over six, this is going to stay the same. My division is going to turn into multiplication. This is changing to multiplication. And then three over four, this is changing into four over three. We're taking the reciprocal of three over four. The reciprocal of three over four equals four over three. Because when I multiply them together, the product is going to be one. So my numerator, we have 11 times four. And then my denominator, we have six times three. 11 times four is 44, and six times three is 18. I can simplify my 44 over 18 because the number two goes into both numbers. 44 divided by two is 22, and then 18 divided by two is nine. However, this is an example of an improper fraction. So let's turn this back into a mixed number. So we have our nine on the outside, 22 on the inside. Nine goes into 22 two times. Nine times two is 18. 22 minus 18 is going to equal four. So your answer is going to be 22 over nine or two and four nights. Let's try 12 divided by two and three eighths. So let's look at this example. So first thing we're going to do is turn this whole number into a fraction because we have our imaginary one right here under the 12. And also notice here that we have a mixed number. So we're gonna turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. So two and three eighths, two times eight, this is going to equal 16, plus three, this is going to equal 19. So your improper fraction is going to be 19 over eight. So we have 12 over one divided by 19 over eight. So 12 over one, division is gonna turn into multiplication, and then 19 over eight, the reciprocal for 19 over eight is going to be eight over 19. So I'm going to write eight over 19 here in my numerator, 12 times eight. And then my denominator is going to be one times 19. 12 times eight is 96. That's going to be over one times 19, which is 19. This is an example of an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and turn this back into a mixed number. So we have our 19 on the outside, 96 on the inside. 19 goes into 96 five times. 19 times five is 95. 96 minus 95 is going to equal one. And this is your final answer. Nine and one half 
divided by three and one fifth. So I have two mixed numbers. I'm going to turn into improper fractions first, and then we're going to divide. We have nine times two. This is going to give us 18 plus one. This is going to be 19. So your improper fraction is going to be 19 over two. So I'm going to write 19 over two here. Now let's look at three and one fifth. Three times five is 15 plus one. This is going to be 16. So your improper fraction is going to be 16 over five. So I'm going to write 19 over two divided by 16 over five. So we have 19 over two. This is going to stay the same. Division has now turned into multiplication. And then 16 over five, we're going to take the reciprocal of 16 over five. This is going to be five over 16. So I'm going to write five over 16 here. My numerator, we have 19 times five. 19 times five is 95. Two times 16, this is going to give us 32. Since I have an improper fraction, let's go ahead and turn this back into a mixed number. So 32 on the outside, 95 on the inside. 32 goes into 95 two times, 32 times two. This is going to be 64. 95 minus 64 is going to equal 31. And this is your final answer. So let's look at this example here. Since we are dividing two mixed numbers, the first thing to do is to turn them into improper fractions. So two times three, this is going to equal six, plus one, this is going to equal seven. So your improper fraction is going to be seven over three. So I'm going to write seven over three here. Divided by, let's see, one times four, this is gonna equal four plus one, this is going to equal five. So your improper fraction here is going to be five over four. So seven over three is going to stay the same. Division is going to turn into multiplication. And then five over four, we're going to take the reciprocal of five over four, that's going to equal four over five. So I'm going to write four over five here. My numerator, we have seven times four, that's going to be over three times five in my denominator. Seven times four is 28. And then three times five, that's going to be 15. Since I have an improper fraction, let's turn this back into a mixed number. 15 goes into 28 one time. 15 times one is 15. 28 minus 15 is going to equal 13. And this is your final answer. So let's look at this example, one divided by one over five. Well, first thing we're going to do is we need to turn this whole number into a fraction. If I turn it into a fraction, this is going to turn into one over one. Remember, we have our imaginary one right under this one here. So we have one over one divided by one over five. One over one is going to stay the same my division is going to turn into multiplication. And then the reciprocal for one over five is going to be five over one. So I'm going to write five over one here. Now we're going to multiply across. So one times five in my numerator, and that's gonna be over one times one. One times five is five. One times one is one. So your final answer is going to equal five. Let's try two and one fourth divided by, so let's look at this example here. We're going to turn our mixed number into an improper fraction and then we're going to divide. So two times four, this is going to equal eight plus one, this is going to equal nine. So your improper fraction is nine over four. So we have nine over four divided by one over six. 9 over 4 is going to stay the same. Division changes to multiplication. And then 1 over 6, the reciprocal for 1 over 6 is going to equal 6 over 1. So I'm going to write 6 over 1 here. Now we're going to multiply. My numerator, we have 9 times 6. And my denominator, we have 4 times 1. 9 times 6 is 54. 
four times one is going to equal four. Two goes into both numbers. 54 divided by two is 27. And then four divided by two is going to equal two. Since we have an improper fraction, let's turn this back into a mixed number. Two goes into 27 13 times. Two times 13 is 26. 27 minus 26 is going to equal one. And this is your final answer. Seven over eight divided by one over six. Seven over eight is going to stay the same. My division is going to change to multiplication. And then one over six, the reciprocal for one over six is going to be six over one. So I'm going to write six over one here. My numerator, we have seven times six. My denominator, we have eight times one. Seven times six is 42. Eight times one is eight. I can simplify 42 over eight because the number two goes into both numbers. 42 divided by two is 21. And then eight divided by two is four. Since this is an example of an improper fraction, we're going to turn this back into a mixed number. So four goes into 21 five times. Four times five is 20. 21 minus 20 is one. And this is your final answer. So let's try one more example. 10 divided by three and one third. So we have a whole number here. Let's go ahead and turn this into a fraction. If I have to turn 10 into a fraction, it's going to be 10 over one because we have our imaginary one right here under this 10. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. So three and one third, three times three, this is going to equal nine plus one, this is going to equal 10. So your improper fraction is going to be 10 over three. So we have 10 over one divided by 10 over three. Division is changing into multiplication. And then 10 over three is going to turn into, we have 10 over three here. The reciprocal is going to be three over 10. So I'm going to write three over 10 here. My numerator, we have 10 times three. And then my denominator, we have one times 10. My numerator, 10 times three is 30 over one times 10, this is 10. So 30 divided by 10, I can simplify this because 30 divided by 10, this is going to equal three. So your final answer is three. Okay, so that is all for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.